All right, well, hey, thanks. Thanks to everybody for coming out today. Really appreciate this. And uh, as you can tell, we've got an incredible crowd that's supporting our campaign for the U.S. Senate. Uh, we are so excited, uh, really, in Middlesex County to be able to have this kind of support. So we're going to be uh, launching Middlesex for Deal. We've had coalitions like Veterans for Deal, Women for Deal. We've got so many people in Middlesex County supporting us. We're going to have a new coalition, and you're just seeing some of the members that are a part of it. This is going to be a campaign between now and November to make sure the people out there know they've got a choice between a senator that's going to focus on them and someone who is focusing on herself. Senator Warren, for the last five and a half years in office, has written two books about herself and made sure that she's running for the president in uh, 2020. You can tell now at this point, it's so very clear, that's her focus. Whereas my focus has been for eight years serving on Beacon Hill to work for the people of my district. And now we're gonna have a chance to work for the people of Massachusetts for the full six years. Something that Senator Warren won't even commit to. Even on, on the record this last weekend when asked the question, she would not commit to fulfilling the full six year term. You're gonna get someone who's worked for you and we've all worked together in the past in 2014, when we repealed the indexed gas tax, you guys remember, of course? Yes, yes we did. We saved taxpayers in Massachusetts over $2 billion. That's the kind of work that makes an impact, puts money back in households. And by the way, in 2017, a tax reform bill passed down in Washington that Senator Warren voted against. She called it crumbs, just like Nancy Pelosi. That tax reform bill is now giving Massachusetts nation-leading unemployment, 3.5% here in Massachusetts. We are seeing new jobs, wages increase, and we have seen revenue on Beacon Hill because of the new jobs and new taxpayers in excess of $1.2 billion. It's been an incredible success. And we now have gross domestic product at 4.1%, growing towards 5%. That's the kind of reform down in Washington that's succeeding. That's what I want to continue the progress on when I become your new, ex new U.S. Senator. And so, again, I am so proud to be out here today with so many people supporting us uh, for this Senate race. Go to DealForSenate.com if you want to be part of this growing movement. And on November 6th, I look forward to serving as your next U.S. Senator. So thank you all for coming today, and thank you all for your continued support as we push towards November. Thank you guys for coming out.